Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to Cute Simple Stuff. Today I wanted to share with you how to refashion a tray to turn it into an accessory holder or just any kind of organizational type thing that you need. This is just an idea of how you can paint this. I found this cute idea, a real cool idea on a blog and the original photo is going to be on my blog if you're going to check it out. It's a bit different than mine but I just got inspired to make my own. Didn't buy this tray actually, I got it from a, a graduation party. It was one of those floral arrangements that they put on in the middle of the table. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is turning it upside down because I'm going to be working with the bottom part of it. And I'm going to add tape to all the edges to just kind of prevent getting really messy because it's going to be messy just as a prevention but to get like stuff all over the place. Then I'm going to be working or using this plastic bags again to avoid any kind of mess. However, I'm going to be using nail polish. It's up to you whether you want to paint the whole thing with acrylic paint or you want to, you know, use nail polish. I use nail polish because that's the, like, I had some leftover nail polish bottles at home. Sometimes it's easier for me to find, believe it or not, nail polish than acrylic paint. But if you feel like this is a waste and because of the consistency of nail polish it's much easier to use for what I'm going to be using. But if you feel like this is a waste and you just prefer to use acrylic paint by any means, just choose whatever paint you feel better with. And I'm pretty much going to start by dragging my nail polish all over the tray and just making a kind of a zigzag pattern, not like perfectly done but kind of like that. I'm using first my uh, nail polish, this is called For Audrey and it's by Shanna Glaze. And then I'm going to be using the same, I'm going to be doing the same thing, but in this case I'm going to be using white. And the white that I'm using is White On by Sally Hansen. And then last but not least, I'm going to be using black. The black that I'm using is called the Blackout, is by Sally Hansen again. And I really like this this black. I was between making this as in a rainbow pattern or just in these three shades, but I decided to go for this because I just love the combination of these three three colors: black, white, and some sort of a minty green or minty blue or I don't really know teal. Maybe this is something among those lines. And then because I wanted my paint to just dry flat, I added a plastic back on the top like so and then just smooth the whole thing pushing a bit it's okay if the paint goes everywhere because it's going to be like the effect that I'm going for anyways and as you can see once you start doing this it kind of fills those empty spaces of paint as well and once that's done this is what it looks like from the front from the place we're going to be actually looking at it and now it's time to let the whole thing dry. I honestly waited for about a whole weekend, I think, because I was using nail polish. If you don't have the time or just you need something quicker, just, you know, use acrylic paint. But since I was using nail polish, I wanted the smell to go away because I am going to be putting it inside somewhere. But once that's done, I'm just going to remove my tape. You don't have to remove it right away, you can wait. As you can see, nothing happens to the paint that is dry. And then, because I used nail polish, I have some messy bits here and there. I just took Q-tip with some acetone on it and simply removed my paint. And this is pretty much what it looks like from the front. It's got some sort of bubbles, I'm not too bothered by it. It kind of dries like that, but again, if you don't like it, go ahead and use by any means any other paint that you like. And I'm, I'm just placing my earrings as I am going to be storing them. And all the earrings, by the way, that I'm putting here are DIYs that I have made. Like all my earrings, I made them. And yeah, I'm going to just put a link to the um, playlist where you can find how to make these earrings. And I either made them from scratch or I, you know, did something to them. Except for the one that is kind of rainbow in there because I didn't like how it turned out. I never made a tutorial, but I hope you enjoyed it and it was somehow helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you liked it. Give me a thumbs up 
and share if you want. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video.